Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So since we were looking the uses of hexadecimal numbers in computing, so the first use was memory dumps and this is the second use that is color codes or HTML codes, right? So what is HTML? Let me tell you first. HTML is basically hypertext markup language, right? It's a markup language uh, that is used to, uh, it is basically used to define, process and present text, right? In the, uh, in the web pages, right? So HTML is a language that is used to define the web pages, right? You make web pages here and what you do in that, you basically uh, define the define and present the text inside the web page text right so this is what a markup language is it is not a programming language you are not doing programming here but just you are manipulating the text and presenting it in a, a suitable manner whatever you want so it is how you can develop web pages through html right and what are color codes in the HTML, we use color codes in order to define the color of text. For example, I am writing on a web page that my name is, is Farwa. Let's suppose I am developing a web page and at the top of my web page, I am writing a text that my name is Farwa. Then, for example, I want to write this particular line in red color then what I need to do I need to define a color code for it right what I need to do I for the in order to write it write this line in a red color I have to use a color code of red and what is that it is hashtag ff0000 right so this is the color code for red so in this way we have different color codes for different colors right this is what this is representing six hexadecimal digits right we are displaying the color codes or presenting the color codes in form of hexadecimal numbers and how many numbers are here we have six hexadecimal digits or pairs of three hexadecimal digits right in order to represent a color code so this is how we can use hexadecimal number system in order to present color codes and in order to define the colors of the text in a hexadecimal, sorry, in a HTML language, in a markup, HTML markup language in order to define the web pages, right? So I hope uh, it is clear to you and let me share the past paper example with you so that you can be more clear about it. Okay, so here we go. This is the past paper example of October, November 2019 paper, right? What it says, a library has a website that customers can use to search for a book, right? We have a website that is used to search a book, right? Now, what is the part one? The website has a background color with the hexadecimal color code. This is the hexadecimal color code for the background color, right? I don't know what the what type of color it is. Uh, maybe orange, blue, red, white. I don't know what type of color it is, but it is just presenting some background color, right? In this form. The color code is stored in two 12-bit binary registers, right? What it says, it is saying that we have two registers and each register is carrying 12 bits right so what we need to do show how the color code would be stored in the registers right so this is the hexadecimal value and we all know that registers or the memory stores the data in form of binary right and it is all also mentioned here that we have a 12-bit binary register so what we need to do we need to convert this 
color code or hexadecimal value in the binary, right? In order to show it in registers, right? So here I need to use the conversion table that tells me what is the hexadecimal uh, digit equals to what binary number, right? So let me come up with the conversion table of hexadecimal and binary so that we can solve this problem. Okay, so here we go. This is the conversion table that you need to memorize in order to convert hexadecimal value or color codes in binary, right? So, for example, according to the question, I have two 12-bit binary registers. So, these are my two registers. Each will be carrying 12 bits, right? So, this is my register number one and this is two. And they can accumulate 12 bits, right so what it means it means that i can for one hexadecimal number remember for one hexadecimal number you need to represent it in four binary bits you need four binary digits in order to represent a single hexadecimal number so since we have 12 bits here so how many hexadecimal numbers we can represent four for one four for another four for another we need here, we need to represent three hexadecimal numbers here and then the remaining three will be represented in the next register, right? So, we can divide this color code into two groups. This is, the, my, this is my upper uh, upper part of the color code and this is my lower part and for F92, let me use my register number one to represent f92 and register number 2 will present the data of a10 right so i need to do nothing it is very simple i just uh, need to write the binary equivalent of these particular digits what is f f in hexadecimal is equal to 1111 in terms of binary so I am going to write 1, 1, 1, 1 for it. What is 9? 9 is equal to 1, double zero, 1. That is 1, zero, zero, 1. And what is this 2? This 2 is equal to 0, zero, one, zero in terms of binary. 0, zero, one, zero. So this is how I have uh, converted the upper part of my color code. And for A10, I am going to see it in the table. A is equal to 1010. Then 1 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1. And the 0 is equal to 4 times 0. So this is how we have converted the color code that is given to you in hexadecimal number into a binary value. And you have written this binary value in the 12-bit binary register, right? So this is how you can solve these kind of questions, right? And I think the color codes are clear to you. And we have seen the example of past paper as well in order to be more clear about this topic. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope the video is clear to you. And if you have any questions, any problem related to it, you can comment below. You can give me the feedback and I am definitely going to solve it, right? So thank you so much for watching the video. In the next video, we are going to see another use of hexadecimal number, right? We are going to see the MAC addresses, right? So keep watching, stay connected, stay tuned, and please like, share, subscribe the channel, share it with other students as well so that we can all uh, study together. We can find out each other mistakes and work in, in, uh, in a friendly manner, right? So thank you so much. Um, uh, see you in the next video. Take care for now.